going on guys? So today, I thought I'd talk to you about ego. Especially for blokes, but I mean women do it a lot as well to be honest. Um, so both really. Uh, just the way it can hold you back with things. Like jobs, careers, relationships. Just lots of different factors man. Like a lot of people have, e- like everyone has an ego in it. But some people's are really really high like sky high and whether that's through what they've learned through their parents or their friends their environment it can be very detrimental to you and again it's one of these things that you've got to try and find a balance with because I think it can be a positive sometimes an ego thing because like in a job position or whatever you've got competition for someone that wants your job and your ego is going to make you outperform someone, that can be a positive. But people also abuse it as well because, like, work relationships or just gossiping, falling out with people, it's because a lot of the time people get in an argument with each other and neither one of them want to admit they're wrong when they're both in the wrong for some reason. And neither of them want to put their guard down and admit that what they did wrong, even if they both did something wrong because their egos are like, nah, I can't do that, I've got too much pride and ego. So, that's why I say it can be detrimental. Um, So you have to try and find a balance, like with everything in life, it's hard, but it is doable. Um, And it takes time. But you have to be aware of it and have to put in the effort to try and change it I think you will end up potentially in a very very bad place all down to your ego and your pride that's why a lot of gangsters and stuff like get in shit and die or are in prison for the rest of their life because they can't let go of ego they can't let go of pride and you got to ask yourself is it really worth it at the end of the day especially if you've got family like kids and you know what I mean Where's their dad? Where's their mum? They got caught up in some shit because of their pride and their ego. Your kid don't understand that. But you're teaching your kid that. The more you do that. Because they get used to that and think that's normal behaviour. So they grow up to do the same thing. You have to be careful with it. You want to teach people especially your kids you want to teach them the right things so you have to set the example as the grown up which is going to mean that at times you have to admit you're in the wrong even if you think in your head that that's going to make you the weaker person but all these things you tell yourself in your head are just stories guys you make them up you think oh if I do this and admit that I'm going to look weak to people who gives a fuck if you've done the right thing that should mean more if you've done the right thing and tried to squash beef with someone over years of not talking to them, even if they don't accept it, you've done your part. You've been the bigger person. Even if they don't accept it, it goes to prove the point about ego again because they don't put their guard down. They won't drop their guard. But you've done your bit, so... I take faith in that, man. As I said, it's not easy. We've all got an ego. See, live video, man. See what happens. Live recording. Um, but yeah, stuff happens in life, man. But we got to stop making excuses and stop finding excuses for why we're not working on ourselves, why we're not trying to change. Because otherwise, you keep doing what you're doing, you're never going to see changes. You're always going to beat yourself up. You're always going to be miserable. For something like ego that you could change, again, is it worth all the pain? I don't think it is. And I'm not perfect. I've done it in the past. still happens today. But I don't do it as much as I used to because I work on myself. I squash beefs with people if I can. But you have to be that big person. You have to see that vision. Don't always look at 
don't always act off of emotions and then hold them emotions for the rest of your life with people that you could squash that with. I'll leave it there today, guys. Have a good day. Speak to you soon.